everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a video that is highly requested and it is the 20 under 20 video challenge-ish type video thing. It's too long. I'm so good at titles. I have a whole bunch of products I can't wait to share with you guys. I have Sephora, Mac, I have Drugstore, just a big variety of products. I am splitting this up with my friend Jen from Miss Jen Fabulous. She, by the way, is amazing if you don't already watch her and if you don't, go and check out her video and tell her that I sent you. She's doing 10 and I'm doing 10, all under 20 bucks and we tried to kind of choose as many different types of products as possible as well. Now for this video, I will preface this and say that that we are just talking about the actual price of the product because taxes it's entirely going to depend on like province or state or like country you're from. So if you want some more recommendations for great products under 20 bucks, go and check out her video. I will link it in the info bar below and without further ado, let's get into this video. Got lots lots of things. Oh, this isn't it. Why do I have this in here? Oh, I was using this earlier. Too Faced mascara. It's not one of the products. Put that back. Thought I was all organized. I'm not. Where to even start? I'll start with this one. This is the First Aid Beauty Lip Treatment Therapy product, and this stuff is awesome if you have chapped lips, especially in the wintertime, going into springtime. Because in Canada, it is still winter outside. I talk about this in every single video. I'm sure you guys are sick of it, but there's so much snow. Like, it is now not up to my knees. It is now, it, like, I could live in the snow. There's that much snow outside. So disappointed. The lack of spring is getting to me. But my lips tend to get dry, especially in the winter, getting into the springtime, and this stuff does everything to make them soft and smooth and awesome. And so I have one by my bedside, and then I have one downstairs, and it's just a really, really good product if you're looking for something that's very soothing and hydrating. Number two is the um, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel product. I did a full review on this back in maybe September or so, I think. But I've been using this product recently in some of my other videos and you guys have been asking me what color it is. And it is this product and it's in the color Tidal Wave. Beautiful, beautiful blue color. And in the video I went on a little bit of a rant because I got really annoyed by the fact that you can't really easily differentiate the top coat from the black polish really really annoys me but the product itself is fantastic the color is superb the fact that it lasts as long as it does is amazing I bought the bronze one obviously the black one because I don't even want to get into that this one and I want to get uh, white as well because as you guys can tell I'm kind of obsessed with white polish right now it's just really really good if you're looking for something that's gonna last a little bit longer than you know the typical three days that most polishes last at least for me does anyone else uh, no? Okay. Number three! I want to show you guys the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Lacquer. Not lip lacquer. I would not put this on your lips. It is the Infallible Lacquer Liner. It is 24 hours in blackest black. This stuff is awesome. It definitely goes head to head for me um, in comparison to the Bobbi Brown stuff that is like super highly recommended and like the best of the best. It glides on really smoothly, it's super pigmented in black, and it gives you that really nice crisp line that you want from, a, you know, like a liquid liner type of look. And it's really easy to apply, and um, yeah, I just really, really love it. I've been using it a lot lately, and uh, definitely one of my top 20 under 20. For number four, I want to talk about the Maybelline Mattes. In particular, I love the um, Just Lust, where is it? I have too many of these. I went a little cray when they started to show up in my drugstores. Hold on, rant for a second. It irritates me so much that Canada doesn't get products until like two months after the States. Ah, it drives me crazy. So when these finally came out in stores, I had to get a whole bunch of them, and so I got four of them. Went a little over the top, but they're so good, don't even care. They are so, whoop as I drop it on the floor. So the reason I love these so much is A, I love the whole matte lip thing, um, and B, I was gonna say two. I also love the fact that they're actually almost hydrating without showing any sort of gloss or sheen on your lips. So they're um, not chalky, they don't like settle into lines or anything like that. They're just very pigmented and they stay on your lips really nicely. And I like the fact that they're matte. The one in particular that I love, and I've talked about this in a number of different videos and I've used it in a number of different videos, it is the um, Lust for Blush shade. It is gorgeous, guys. It's a really nice, neutral, but it's almost got a mauve undertone to it, mauve, whatever, potato, potato. Look at that color dough. It's so pretty. If you're gonna pick up any one of these, highly recommend this one because you are going to love it. So pretty. For number five, I wanted to talk about Sonia Kashuk brushes. First of all, these brushes are super affordable. They are available at Target, so you can pick them up and they're pretty easy to find unless you're Canadian and your Target has left you. Ugh. 
don't even want to get into that right now. I love in particular these two. As you can see, they're kind of dirty right now because I use them today. Um, but this is a really nice dome brush. Um, it's nice and thick, but it's pointed at the top without being like that pointy ones. You know those ones that you pick up and you're like, ow, why is it stabbing my eye? It washes really nicely too. You're not going to get like bristle fallout all over the place. This is really nice if you want a little bit of a smoke without going like crazy, um, but you don't want like a super thin line either. So this just gives a really nice soft effect under the eyes which I really love so I love this pencil for that and they're just really good brushes so highly highly recommend them what are we on right now six number six is the um, Mac lip pencil and dervish I know I even found a Mac product that was under 20 bucks exciting times this is actually the color I used on my wedding day I love it it's a very neutral mauvey pink it's very very pretty I use it even by itself and just kind of throw on a little bit of lip balm on top and it just looks really nice super nice natural color for every day number seven is another liner but one of the eye and it is the covergirl ink it and this is in copper ink I also have the silver one which I love um, this one I'm using on my waterline right now and it's a beautiful bronze shade if I can open it I just put like cream on my hands so it's but ah, there we go. It's just really nice and creamy. It's a beautiful bronze shade um, And I have been obsessed with this especially going into spring It's nice to kind of warm up your whole look with a nice bronzy shade And if you don't want to go full-on black especially for like every day, this is a nice alternative number eight Well, that's a nine <laughs> Try that again. This is the Sephora colorful liner 24 hour waterproof liner now I am recommending these as like a full range. I haven't picked up other colors yet, but I'm going to because I tested them a whole bunch in the store and then they didn't have the color that I wanted. They were all sold out. Arr. Whoa, Nelly, is it ever pigmented? This is in Pool Party. Very pretty blue color if you want to try something a little bit bolder for spring. But they also have other shades as well if you want to do a more, you know, traditional black or bronze or something like that. The applicator itself is really nice. It is nice and thin, but like you can hold on to the applicator and this um, is nice and flexible without being a really thin brush. You know what I mean? I find those incredibly annoying and I can't apply them to my eye for the life of me. So this is really nice and it's a super pretty color. Nine? We on nine? We're on nine. Number nine is by Maybelline and it is their matte and poreless powder and this one is in classic ivory in case you want my shade. I think I talked about this in my recent favorites video. I love this powder. It smooths out everything. You don't see your pores. You It just mattifies nicely without being like chalky like dead face you know. It's just a really nice soft powder. It adds a little bit of extra coverage but it doesn't like cake onto your face either. It's going to smooth out everything and just create a really nice, pretty, flawless finish. And then for number 10, we have another lip product. And this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have a couple of these. I also have like a dark red somewhere in my stash. Um, but these are the two that I found most quickly because I use them a lot. And uh, this one is in Milan and this one is Nameless Buttery Nude the other one. These are great. Again, they have that sort of a matte finish to them, but they apply like a gloss, which is kind of interesting and different. And I just really like the consistency. I like being able to apply it with a sponge tip applicator for whatever reason. You can apply it super pigmented. You can put it on and then blot it and you get a nice sort of a stain effect. They just, they're really nice. I really like NYX lip colors. Um, I have a ton of them. They're just really good in terms of consistency. So those are all 10 of my under 20 favorite products for you guys. Go and check out Jen's video if you want to see the other 10 as part of our little collaboration here. Go and check out our channel. Tell her that I sent you and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these types, sort of like top 10 or like 20 under 20, 10 under 10, those types of videos because they're really, really fun and kind of a challenge to find and like put together. But they're really fun. So um, I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.